If your child is starting fractions at school and you realise that you've forgotten everything you once knew about fractions, then this is for you. Here's a quick terminology recap. The number on top of the fraction is the numerator. The number below the line, the denominator. If the number on top is bigger than the one below, then we have an improper fraction. And if it's a number written next to a fraction, it's called a mixed numeral. Here is 6 tenths. This fraction can be simplified because both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by the same number, in this case 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 10 divided by 2 is 5, 3 fifths. Now if your child struggles with this concept, you might like to use pizza to help explain. Here we have a quarter or a fourth of a pizza. Now we have two quarters of a pizza, but it's clear just from looking at it that two quarters of a pizza is the same as half a pizza. If the denominators are the same, then addition is very easy, you just add the numerators. So here we simply say 3 plus 2 is 5, and the answer is 5 sevenths. If the denominators are different, you need to find a common denominator. The lowest common denominator is the lowest number that's a multiple of both denominators. The lowest common denominator here is 12, as 12 is divisible by both 4 and 6, but no lower number is. Now if you or your child are ever unsure how to find a common denominator, a simple way is just to multiply the two denominators together, as this guarantees that the resultant denominator will be a multiple of both. So in this case, it's just 6 times 4 is 24. So I'll do the sum using both methods, first with 12 as the common denominator. Now I had to multiply 6 by 2 to get 12, so I also need to multiply the numerator by 2. And so 1 sixth becomes 2 twelfths. And I had to multiply 4 by 3 to get 12, so I multiply the numerator by 3, 9 twelfths. Now we have the same denominator, so we can simply add the numerators. 2 plus 9 equals 11, the answer is 11 twelfths. Now using the other method, with 24 as the common denominator. I multiplied 6 by 4 to get 24, so I multiplied the numerator by 4, which is 4. On this side, I multiplied 4 by 6 to get 24, so I multiplied the numerator by 6, which gives me 18. 4 plus 18 is 22, so the answer is 22 over 24. And all this requires now is one more step to simplify. Both 22 and 24 are divisible by 2, and so the answer becomes 11 over 12, the same as above. The top number is bigger than the bottom number, so it's an improper fraction. And we can choose to simplify this and express it as a mixed numeral. And the way you do this is to say, how many times does 5 go into 7? Well, the answer is 1, with 2 left over. So, it's 1 and 2 fifths. Here's a slightly more complex example. Convert 25 over 7 to a mixed numeral. 3 times 7 is 21, so the answer is 3 with 4 left over. So the mixed numeral is 3 and 4 sevenths. Again, pizza can help if, if your child's having difficulty understanding the concept here. Here we have half a pizza, here we have two halves of a pizza, and here we have three halves. Looking at the picture, it's clear that another way of saying this is that we have one and a half pizzas. So 3 over 2 is the same as one and a half. Okay, that's enough fractions for the moment. I'm going to have a pizza.